Hello everyone, welcome to Linda's Creative Coiling. Today's video is showing the inside out tie stitch. This is a really fun and pretty stitch and is very useful in case you want the, um, the focus to be more on the outside of your basket. You want the pretty tie stitch part on the outside and the cross pieces, like you've seen, see here below, the cross pieces will be on the inside of your basket. To do this, I'm this basket in particular, I'm using four ply wax linen thread. I'm using glycerin treated long leaf pine needles. And for this demonstration, I'm using a number two darning needle. Usually I use a number one needle because I find it breaks the needles a little less, but this shows better in the demonstration. So what I'm gonna do here to start, I hold my thread across the bottom coil at an angle. I insert my needle between the coils on the right-hand side. I turn it over, you can see it's on the right-hand side. I bring my thread over the top and insert into this loop where my thumb, where there's a loop of thread around my thumb. Now, as soon as my darning needle is inside that loop and between the coils, I can pull this thread tight and it kind of anchors around my darning needle. <clears throat> now I can pull that through and adjust my thread, pull it tight, adjust my thread. So you can see I've got one thread over the top and it's coming out in the back and I have one thread. Now I'm gonna come back over the top and I'm going to swing it around between those two coils. So I swing it around between those two coils. Now I have two threads over the top and my thread is in, is in the back, right there in the back. I'm going to go in between those coils, go in on the right, and come out on the right in the front, pull that through, and pull it tight, and that makes my tie. That's one complete stitch. Okay, let's do another one. I go across the, the coil at an angle. I insert my needle on the right between the two coils. I don't want to pierce the needles if I can help it. I come out on the right in the back. So my darning needle is going between the two coils in on the right and out on the right. When I start to pull that, you can see that it makes a loop of thread around my thumb. I bring the thread over the top and insert my needle on the left into that loop. I come out on the left in the back. Okay, now as soon as my darning needle is in there, I can pull that thread tight and it anchors around my darning needle. You can see how it's anchored around there. It's anchored around there. Now I can pull my darning needle the rest of the way through, the rest of the way through and pull that tight. Okay, at this point, I come back over the top, but I swing my thread around between those two coils. Where's my work? There. So now I have two threads over the top. I turn it over, I insert my needle between the coils on the right, and come out on the right. And that makes my tie. There's my tie. And that's another complete stitch. Now you can see here that I'm running out of thread. 
So I'm going to show you the best way to tie on a new thread with this stitch. <clears throat> I'm gonna pull off just a little bit for this because it'll be easier to work with. So I'm gonna pull off just a short thread and I'm gonna over wax it with my beeswax. I've got a little thing of beeswax here and you can even use a little beeswax candle if you can't find beeswax anywhere. And I over wax my thread. What this does is it makes my thread, the color a little brighter. And when I finish my basket, I can use a hair dryer and, and um, make it shiny and glossy. Okay, when I tie on, I use a second darning needle. You can see I've got my first darning needle just hanging there. I'm going to use my number one needle this time. So I'm going to thread my needle, hold the thread between my thumb and index finger, and I'm going to needle the thread. Needle the thread down over there. Makes it real easy. Okay, the end of my thread, I'm going to tie a double knot, one, and I want these to line up right on top of each other, line up, line up. Okay, I trim that little end down to about a sixteenth of an inch. Trim that down so I have just a little bitty tail left. Okay, so since I want my thread to end up on the inside of my basket, what I'm gonna do is turn my basket over and in this tie stitch that's below, on the row below, I'm gonna insert my needle right into that tie part. I'm gonna insert it in there and then I'm gonna poke around in the front poke around until I can come out exactly where my old thread is. You can see my darning needle is right there where my old thread is. Okay, I pull the thread through. There's my knot. There's my knot. And I pull, pull, pull until that knot disappears up into the coil. All right, invisible. And I'm ready to go with my next stitch. So again, I hold the thread at an angle. Cross. Let's try that again. Okay, hold it at an angle across my coil. Go in on the right. And come out on the right. Okay, go into the loop, go in on the left, then come out on the left, pull that thread tight, that's better. Okay, now I come across the top coil I swing it around so it's between the two coils and I make my tie by going in on the right, in on the right, where's that, in on the right and out on the right. Okay, I'm going to do one more, go across the coil, I go in on the right and out on the right. And make sure I'm between the coils. Okay. I come over the top and go in on the left. Now my darning needle's in there. Now I can pull that tight, anchor that around there. Then I can pull it on through. Okay. Now I come over just the top coil and swing it around. 
and I make my tie right there. Don't want to go through my needles. I make sure I'm not piercing my needles. Just going between the coils. Okay, now I still have this old thread hanging here. So I need to bury that thread. What I'm gonna do to do this is go into this tie that's in the row below, and I'm gonna go across a thread or two, across a thread or two, and I'm gonna come out on the back of the basket somewhere so it's across a thread. You see that darning needle coming out there. Gonna use my pliers. Oops, I de-threaded my needle. That's one problem with bigger eyes. <laughs> you lose your thread. Try that again. Okay, I go into that tie stitch and I come out back here across the thread. Can you see that? Okay, use my pliers. Pull that through, pull that through. Now, I want to hold that really taut and just snip it off. Now we're down to one thread, we're ready to go. So that's the inside out tie stitch. I like the look of it, I um, think it's very fun and useful, and I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you'll come back again uh, next time I post a new video. So thanks a lot.